So I thought I'd use a little help today in expressing my love for the dark crystal. So little fish, if you could just, just give them a taste of the soundtrack. Alrighty. <clears throat> All right? Yeah, I'm right. Go, you go ahead. No, 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 that's not, that's Jurassic Park. When I thought about how I wanted to put this video together, I thought, I'm not ready to tape alone. But then two seconds later, I said, all right, alone then. <laughs> Sorry, it's up. <laughs> yeah, try to get it. Dun 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 that's that's not that's Star Wars I think or something. Okay. So cut. When I was a kid, um we were pretty poor. And so for a treat, every week my mother would take my sister and I to a video store and she'd say you can rent one one movie every week. And so every week for about what felt like about two years, I would rent the Dark Crystal every single week. And so looking back on it, I really never understood why my mom didn't just buy me the movie. She could have saved a ton of money, but I think it was more about the experience than, than the actual logistics of it. And that's kind of what prompts my love for the Dark Crystal. The way I think about it is, for me, it's always been more about the experience uh, than the than the logistics of it. What Jim Henson did for us was give us a moment of pure genius. And from that moment on, it's touched my life every day ever since. And little did I know what an impact it would have on me uh, creatively. And so for that, I thank you, Jim Henson and the Dark Crystal.